Hello, my name is John Dobson. I'm the project manager for Flowcode. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can program this remarkable device, which is called an M5 stack dial. So this is the M5 stack dial. It's a ESP32 powered system. It's housed in a rugged plastic panel mounted configuration. It's around 50 millimeters across and it consists of the SP32 and a touchscreen here. And on the outside of the device, there is an encoder, which you can just hear clicking there. And that encoder allows you to make a choice uh, from a menu system that you design uh, to use the touchscreen display and it could be a drop box or some icons that change and when you've made your selection there is a single switch there which you can use to make your choice so a single switch on the outside of the bezel um, it's nice and rugged there is a retaining bolt there so you can put it onto a panel quite easily and on the back you can see the input output connections we've got um, a couple of ports a and b a is a couple of general purpose input output connectors and B is a serial port. You can also see there is a power connector at the top there and a USB connector, USB-C connector at the bottom. And if I just plug the other end of the USB lead in and add some power, you can see the program that's in the M5 stack dial. In this case, it's a simple test card We've got a number of shapes, some fonts, um, a bitmap in the center there of a girl with a rag doll, and we've got a small graph. Now, there's a little aliasing going on between the camera and the display, but I can assure you that this display is really clear, crisp, and bright. So next, we'll look at how you program the M5 stack dial to produce a test card like this. So this is the flow code program for the test card. This is flow code and you can see I've got a panel which has all the components that I'm using. I've got a programming area here, which in this case we're using flowcharts to describe the program. Um, here is my project explorer. Clicking on the display, this shows you all of the commands that are available for the display. In terms of using Flowcode to do this, it's fairly straightforward. There are lots of commands here for drawing rectangles, arcs, lines, and so on. And the program consists of a number of elements, a main routine, a routine to draw the background grid of gray and squares with white lines, uh, a routine to draw the checkers on the top and bottom of the display, a routine to draw the colored rectangles, and finally, a routine to draw a graph with a little sinusoid that just keeps going. And you can look at this program and easily understand how it's put together. Um, it's available in the resources section at the end of this video. But there's a few things I want to point out. The first is that this is a LCD GC9A01A and it's a round LCD but actually it behaves or it's programmed like a square LCD. You just don't, don't see the corners. And flow code is fully compatible with a huge range of LCDs. And this is just one of them. So flow code simulates this really neatly. If I just run that for you, you can see the individual parts of the program. And simulations really important when you're designing graphical displays. It allows you to iterate multiple times without downloading, which can save you a huge amount of time. Other things to look at is on the M5 display, um, there are a number of fonts. So fonts are embedded into the ESP processor, um, up to four fonts here, and you can choose from a big variety of different fonts, as you can see there. So you should find fonts to, to suit your purposes. There's a component called a bitmap drawer, and this allows you to embed up to four different, no, up to 10 different bitmaps. In this case, the 
All the elements are drawn in a vector format apart from the bitmap in the center of the girl with the rag doll and that's embedded in the ESP processor inside the M5 stack dial. And that's a fairly straightforward process. You grab hold of a bitmap, reduce it in size, manipulate the colors and so on, and then just embed it um, into the um, M5 stack dial along with the rest of your program. It's really neat. You don't need an external SD card, although you can use one if you've got a lot of bitmaps and flow code handles that really well. Um, you need to activate the backlight that's connected to IO pin 9 or A9. If you don't do that, you'll just get a black display. Um, and lastly, flow code has this lovely graphing component, which allows you to draw graphs. In this case, I've made up the plot data, but it's dead easy to integrate a Grove style sensor into the M5 stack dial and then chart the sensor um, output. So here you can see the program. It's all fairly straightforward. There is quite a lot of it because a lot of different elements, um, but you should be able to figure out how all of this works from the sample program. If you want a copy of this program, then you go to the Flowcode website, navigate to the wiki, and you can find copy a copy of the program under examples and tutorials.